Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Architubo. I am Architect Bhavavi and from today I am going to start a new series called Famous Architects and Their Works. So for the first video, I am going to be sharing about Frank Lloyd Wright. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start with today's presentation. Today we are going to discuss about the famous architect of all the times and the pioneer architect of America. Architect Frank Lloyd Wright Frank Lloyd Wright was an American architect, interior designer, writer and educator. He designed more than 1000 structures out of which 532 were completed. His architectural career lasted for 70 years. Wright believed in designing structures that were harmony with humanity and nature, a philosophy called as organic architecture. Wright mostly used three different architectural styles in his works. One, modern architecture. Second, modern art. Third is prairie style. The awards and achievements he received in his career. In 1941, he received gold medal award from the Royal Institute of British Architects. In 1949, he received the gold medal award from the American Institute of Architects. He was awarded the Franklin Institute of Frank P. Brown Medal in 1953. Now let's get to know more about his working principles. There are three basic principles that Wright used to work with. One is organic architecture. He focused on how design can bring the architecture and nature as close as possible. Simple geometric shapes. F.L. Wright used basic geometric shapes as the foundation of his modern architecture. Third, their most defining characteristic is their emphasis on the horizontal rather than the vertical plane. F.L. Wright designed some very famous structures in America and all around the world. Let's talk in detail. So, these are some of the famous works done by F.L. Wright. Falling Water Guggenheim Museum Unity Temple, Price Tower, Robbie Residence, Palace in West. Now, let's study in detail about the most famous structure by F.L. Wright, the Falling Water. The construction started in 1935 and the project was completed by 1957. The topography of the land is a natural terrain, it's a contour site and the structure is built according to the topography. F.L. Wright initially built the structure over the stream. Initially, the building would have the view of the stream. F.L. Wright used only four materials to make this iconic building. One being reinforced concrete, steel, sandstone and glass. Design features F.L. Wright used horizontal elements, horizontal concrete planes and with different textures and colors, vertical elements, then highlighting the horizontal planes, the design itself balances the vertical and horizontal surfaces. You can see the cluster organization in planning, F.L. Wright used one of his principles called organic architecture. Now let's study about the designing and planning of the building, the site plan. The site has the view of Bear Run River. Looking at the site plan, one can tell that F.L. Wright has tried to have harmony with the nature. Also, level plays an important role in this design. If you look at the plan, there are so many cantilever projections or the terraces at the different levels. The main building is connected to the guest house. There are two different entries to the building. One is from the guest house and the one is from the, the one is main entrance. Talking about the first floor plan, you can actually see there is living room and dining room, a kitchen and I have talking about the first floor plan, you can see the entrance and then there is a staircase and the terrace which gives the view of the barren river and when you enter the house, there is big living room dining space, a kitchen and a servant room. And I have provided a plan where it gives the circulation of the spaces. Coming to the second floor plan, F.L. Wright has planned master bedroom, guest rooms, 
basically the rooms are on the second floor viewing the Bairan river there are three terraces on the second floor which gives the view of the Bairan river then coming on to the third floor on the third floor fl right has designed a gallery and study room which is private space now talking about the elevations you can see the materials that are used and the horizontal planes projecting it balances out the structure very well the vertical and the horizontal planes goes very well the different types of materials now looking at the sections you can see how fn right has played with the levels now talking about the interior of the falling water we have talked about the exterior view that fn right has used only four materials uh, now talking about the interiors interiors are simply uh, through vibrant colors and the furniture of monochromatic warm colors sandstone and ceiling and floor a right use a lot of clear glass to allow the light from outside to freely flow into inside because a clear glass at the certain times of the day it becomes very very reflective now you can see the ceiling and the overall view you get the harmony with the nature i hope i have given all the information and if you want the part 2 or the case study please let me know in the comments below and If you like the video please give it a like subscribe comment and share with your friends i'll see you next sunday till then take care